So we're getting pretty close to the end of our financial projections. We've got a few lines left in our balance sheet. We've got cash and liquid securities. We've got the debt schedule. And we've got equity. Let's do equity now. Um, total equity depends on a lot of things. The, uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings example is pretty simple. It, it depends on retained earnings and common stock. Retained earnings is the amount the company made accumulated over time minus the cash they paid back to investors. So if the equity holder is what we owe to investors, um, you know, when we make money, we owe that to investors, but we pay some of it back in uh, dividends. So let's say we made 6000 this this year and we give ca the cash directly to the investors of div in dividends this year of 4000 our retained earnings will only go up by 2000 because we've already paid them four of that 2000 for common stock um, that doesn't change actually unless we issue or buy back stock when you buy stock on the stock market you're buying an aftermarket stock someone else already owned that and you're buying it from them so you're buying it from me or you're buying it from a bank but you're not buying it from the company the company can sell more stock. For example, if they sell more stock worth a million dollars, their common stock would go up a million dollars uh, because you know you pay them a million dollars to take the stock. They can also buy back the stock and give you cash and reduce the amount they owe investors. So they'll pay you out for that right now uh, to reduce it, and then the equity will go down. Let's build out that schedule so you can see the mechanics. Um, here's our shareholders' equity schedule. I have uh, pulled in the net income from the income statement above. I'm going to copy this over. Uh, dividends, um, I did some research in Buffalo Wild Wings. You really need to know their policies on dividends and stock buybacks. Each individual company manages their cash differently. Some like to keep their cash for investing, and some like to give it back. Uh, growth companies like this one usually like to keep their cash. They don't pay out dividends. They don't do much share buyback. Um, but I looked it up in their 10K, and lo and behold, they have never declared or paid cash dividends on their common stock. It's our policy to preserve cash for development and other working capital needs, and therefore do not currently have plans to pay any cash dividends. So we're just going to go ahead and flatline this at zero and assume that they are not going to pay dividends ever. Um, same with the shares. I looked into their 10K again and found that their shares are pretty much constant. Um, growth company, you know, probably not focusing on their share buyback that much unless they can't do anything better with their cash. Uh, companies tend to buy back their shares uh, when they you know, think they're cheap and when they don't have anything better to do with their money. So this, this company is growing very fast. They'd probably rather buy the stores uh, than buy back these shares. So we're going to make this zero as well. And then we're going to calculate shareholders' equity. So shareholders' equity is just net income minus dividends minus uh, you know the uh, new shares uh, bought. That's a, a ca uh, sorry, new shares bought, which is the cash reduction. We bought it at a plus. Yeah. Come with us across. You have to pay attention to your convention here. See, I have issues positive and buyback is negative. You got to be a little bit careful there. Uh, it doesn't matter now because we have a zero in it. Um, great. And I'm just going to flatline these shares across. We're going to just assume we will keep the same amount of shares over time, and then this will calculate the uh, earnings per share, which we might want later. Um, it's actually still, oh, hold on. Those earnings per share. And so we have some pretty significant earnings per share growth. This come, goes back to my original question, is like, can this company grow this fast for this long? Um, again, you spend much more time testing your assumptions and then actually building the model. This is just on building the model. Uh, so can a company go from $3 a share to $13 a share? in eight years uh, maybe but uh, we really need to know the market better for this and that's where the consulting comes in um, for you know good finance people as well all right so now we have this we're going to pull this shareholders equity into we're just going to pull it right in here we don't need to do this individually because there's not much going on um, so i'm just going to pull it straight into the total equity our schedule takes care of that now we have uh, total shareholders equity um, next, we will do our debt schedule, and then we'll tie it all in, build the cash flow statement, and then do our cash, and then we'll have a full three-statement model.